Hi YouTube, welcome back to Erin with a Hobby. Today's hobby is Monster High Dolls. Um, so this is a bit of a different one, it's sort of a bit of a casual thing. Um, if you're wondering, I am wearing a hoodie, but that is because I'm cold and I want to be comfortable for this video. Um, so I was actually inspired by Claudina Nine, who has recently done a documentary on her journey, or their journey, whatever, um, of collecting every single Monster High doll that was released in the original, like, line. To not remember, I can't remember what year that was, um, but I've been watching that and I, I really enjoyed it. Because, but I, myself, do not have the drive, the money, the space or anything to collect all the Monster High dolls and I don't even like all of the ones that have come out. Um, but I do have a few, like I did get into collecting it because one of my friends um, had them and I fell in love and then I decided to buy some Monster High dolls for myself. Um, the trick was with Monster High and is I live in Australia so we have we don't always get them so like we didn't get the re-release of the three of the four original dolls. We also didn't get any of the black and white um, like original ones in in Australia in stores like we didn't get any of that and we are very behind we get things very behind compared to that overseas so it makes it hard to collect things um I also haven't had a chance I don't I haven't had the chance to get any of the special edition ones like the um runway style whatever they're called um partly because also in Australia when they do the sales they are always in American time, which I get, it's in, they're, they're like overseas stores, but it just means that they are like two o'clock in the morning Australian time and I work full time, so I do not have the capacity to wake up at that time just to get a doll that I may not even get because of scalpers or because of a whole heap of reasons. So they're just sort of not on the cards for me, but I do have uh, quite a few, I don't actually know how many I have at the moment, but these are ones that I am not going to sell because I love them. Um, I have sold a few of my Monster High dolls, partly because I do not have space for all of them at the moment. Um, I don't actually have space for all of the ones that I do own currently because, as I've said before, I still live with my parents and I have one room for everything. So that includes all of my books my pop vinyl figures, um, my cute posket figures, my anime figures, and my Monster High dolls. So I am very limited in what I can display. I don't even have all of my books on my shelves anymore, so I just don't have the space for all my Monster High dolls. So I only have like a set few that I display on my shelves. Some because I like how they look, they're some of the most gorgeous figures ever. Some of them it's simply because I don't have a box that is big enough for them that sort of gives away which one of the what one of them what one of them is um but yeah i i loved monster high i loved the characters i loved the designs of the characters i loved the dolls they were just they were a lot of fun and watching the videos as well of people doing monster high like in the doll hunt and the doll review videos they were just fun and i loved it so today is going to be going through all of the Monster High dolls that I have, was able to get, and yeah, without further ado, let's get into all the Monster High dolls. Um, also, through this video, I will be giving little synopsis on sort of why I've still kept this one, whether I like it, whether it's still on the shelf, all those sort of things. But yeah, hope you enjoy this little trip down memory lane with me. Now, these are going to be in no particular order, they'll probably be kind of random, but the only, the way that I have separated them is the first set are going to be ones that are in a pink box down in the shed. Um, the next set will be the ones that are in a white box that I have up here in my cupboard. Then the other ones are the ones that are up on, they get stored up on that shelf um, that is above my bed. So yeah, that... Those are the three sets that I have. The rest of them, I did have others, but I sold, I only sold like five of them, but I just didn't have the space and they weren't ones that really sparked joy for me. But first up we have, I believe this is Picture Day Laguna or Wave 2 
of Laguna Blue. Now, I love Laguna, partly because she is down under, so she's an Australian-inspired character, which I absolutely loved. And I never got the chance to get the original Laguna. Um, so when I got a chance to get her, I was so happy. Like her, the way she's an underwater creature, I love swimming, so it was so good. And this style was just so cute. And I always loved her shoes because they were like blue. Now her fins can come out. Oh. No, they are the right way. I thought I'd put the fins back on the wrong way. Now, one thing I will mention is a lot of my Monster High dolls um, do have quite gluey hair. So at one stage, I think at some stage, I'll probably wash all of the dolls and wash their hair, even if it loses the style of some of them, because they are quite dusty and quite um, stiff feeling. But no, I still love Laguna. Um, not that I don't like the new Laguna, but I probably won't get into the new Monster High dolls just because they're still amazing and I still love the story, but they're just not the Monster High dolls that I remember. So probably not going to stick with them. The next one is from the Dot Dead, George, Dot Dead Gorgeous 3-pack. Now I got this, I think I got this for my birthday one year, and that is the Draculaura from the 3-pack. Now I do have the, I did keep the other three, two dolls that came with it, which was Abby and Gulia, which I will show you. But this is, I don't have many Draculauras. So they, she's still adorable. She, you can sort of see she's stained a little bit, partly because she is, has, I've had her for a while um, and she got, she was left out and she's got glue on her head. So she needs a wash very badly, but her um, hair tie is literally a pink hair tie that I had um, <laughs> because her other one broke, like quite a few of their hair ties have broken, which is another reason I kind of need to wash their hair. But the reason I kept her was because I didn't get the chance to get many three packs just because when I was collecting Monster High, I was in high school. So a lot of them were bought by mum and mum was not willing to buy the three packs um, as often. And I didn't really have a job, so I couldn't buy them. So I was happy to buy, get these. Um, but I did really like just this simple outfit. It's a simple doll, but no, she's, she's quite gorgeous. The next one uh, was one that I was able to buy because she was one of the slightly cheaper and that is the Dot Dead Gorgeous uh, Frankie. Wait, yes. And her hair is falling out of the um, thing because her hair tie has officially broken. Um, so her hair is officially coming out of its um, thing. You can see it's literally coming out. So hers is definitely one that I will need to wash. But I, I loved these. I would have loved to have had a chance to get the beds, um, but I didn't. And I suppose, and I, I can always, I can live with that. But no, I loved these. I would have loved the chance to get some of the other ones. But I, I loved Frankie's style with it because it is something, this is something that I would wear. Like I would totally wear this style. Although this is not something that would be practical in in, in um, Australia, in Queensland. Uh, we, because these pants would be way too hot to go with the singlet uh, in summer and the top would be too cold for a winter so it wouldn't work these it could be an autumn one with possibly a jumper over the top but no and i always loved the slippers they were so cute but no i, I remember i'm pretty sure this was one of the ones that i was able to buy for myself i'm a little upset that her hair tie has come out but like the front has been gelled so the front you can see is still in it but then the back is all coming out so at some point whether it's when i move and eventually have the ability to display all of my monster high dolls that i wash all of their hair and get all the gunk out um i might um one thing is i have tried washing some of the hair and it didn't quite work so if you know any good tips to washing doll hair leave it in the comment below the next one, now I can't remember this doll's name and I'm pretty sure this was one of the last ones that I bought before like Monster High stopped being a thing that happened in Australia <laughs> that we could get. Like we stopped getting them I feel like a lot earlier than some of the others but it was one of the ones from 
what was it called? It was one of the movies. It was the one where they went to Boo York. Oh, Boo York, Boo York. That's the one. Now, I loved her because she is basically, this one's a robot, and I loved the designs on her and the, the belt and her cape, which I thought was so cool. And the cool thing was with this one is there was a hole in the back if for some whatever reason it needed to be held like that. I just, she was awesome. Oh, I just noticed her ears. That's the fun thing with this is the Monster High dolls were so detailed with so many things like her skin is all robotic and everything and there's a power button on her head which the power button is starting to fade and her eyes like the monster hides like the designs of so many of these characters were just incredible and like the design on the materials like it was just such a fun thing to try and find all of the different patterns and everything on all of the dolls again the hair is probably going to be a common thing but I just I loved them they were such an important part and I they were just so fun and I'm happy to get to share it with you because I didn't get to talk about this with a lot of my friends like most of them probably didn't know that I was into this sort of thing or that I even still am next is one that really needs a wash um most of them do but it was Jane Boo Little and I I loved her and her story of being shy and not wanting to come out it was just so fun the thing was and like you can tell I loved these wow there goes her head her crown I'm gonna grab that off the floor um her thing has officially come out of her hair and it will not stay but anyway um you can tell how much I love them because I can remember most of the ones that I really connected with their names and the characters names because they were just so well crafted and designed it was so good and like so much of the detail in them was just so cool and I loved them this one had an interesting pet I do remember she came with the sloth um, who could hold a backpack and she came with a giant staff that was also a pen so she was a lot of fun like and I loved the fact that they had the different earrings all sorts of things they were just so good and they had all these different like hands hers has a broken finger because I was a rough child at times so yeah and I also love the fact that they had slightly different skin colors a lot of the time so it was just so fun and they were fun to create even more stories with well that is another thing that came off with her her little um shoulder harness thing which goes over the back of her and then slides over her little feathers has come loose because I feel like the because they are held in there with plastic and they are old a lot of the plastic has come off the same as what happened with the hair so it's like don't lose the bits and pieces is my aim the next one is Rebecca Steam I loved her when she was introduced in the movie her hair as well is very very flat partly because they've been flying in boxes but again another robot like I loved the robot themes on all of them like I'm going to be repeating myself with a lot of these dolls there will be some that have a um, bit more unique stories but hers was fun I remember playing with this one. Oh, she does have two earrings it was just hiding at the back of her head here we go I do remember playing and actually doing games with this one she was so fun and like the goggles on the top of her head like they were just oh her knee very much um does a bit of a janky bend i can't tell if that's paint or if that's dirt i feel like that's been painted that way oh one thing i did love with hers you can just sort of see it at the back she's got little cogs that spin which i thought was very cool that one is stuck obviously they need she needs a good wash they they all do so that might be something if you tell me i can do for one video 
Now, this particular doll holds a bit of a special place in my heart because she was, I think, like the second doll that I bought. And I, one of the things I loved about her was the fact that her hair was so soft and so purple. And I, I loved, it's still soft. So there's not a lot of gel in hers because it wasn't styled, but that is the Spectra von der Geist um, doll. She is very, very loose and I loved her because when I got her, I think I was watching My World or um, uh, back when it wasn't called that. Um, but the only thing is you can tell she is old because her hands have gone a bit yellow because she had the fade colour and her clothing has lost its elastic because I'm pretty sure that her pant, her skirt is supposed to like sit up like that but it's like all the way down on her hips. She is definitely losing colour and has gone very yellow so, but I still love her and I loved the design of the ghost and her shoes. Her knees aren't as bendy but that's an interesting way but no she was a fun one. I was very happy to get her. Um, so yes, that's why I couldn't get rid of her, even though she is starting to go very yellow. And next, again, another early one that I got, which I very much liked the look of, that is Nephra Denial in her original outfit. Nephra was such a, she was so cruel, but she was an awesome character. I love the design, like, cause with the mummy wraps, and everything. She did used to have a ring on her finger, but um, I did lose that. Um, but no, like I loved her because I couldn't get the original Cleo because Cleo came in a two pack with Deuce. And I never ended up getting that because I did not have the opportunity to buy a two pack. Um, again, for the same reason. But when I got the chance to get Cleo, um, Cleo's older sister, which was again my first time getting a taller doll and like the poses that you could do with these dolls were just incredible and the hair and the details of the clothing I just I loved it so I was very happy to get Nephra I'm pretty sure I have all of their diaries still unless I sent them to Vinnie's I can't remember if I still have them. I don't have their pets I don't think anymore because I probably should have kept the pets but at the time I didn't really see the need to keep the pets when all I wanted was the dolls. I didn't particularly care about the pets when I was collecting them. Now this is going to be a long ass video because I just realized oh my gosh I'm spending so like a minute talking about each doll. Um, but next is actually the same one character and that is Jennifer Long. Um, I've got, actually got two of her. Um, one is her original outfit, which I love, um, just without the tail. I do have the tails for like Jennifer and some of the cats um, stored in a box up in my room. But I just loved her design. Her head thingy is coming out. Another one of those things, but like her outfit, like her outfit is amazing. Her story when she was introduced in Scaris was amazing and I just realized that that opens that way huh again hers was one of those ones with the really really long fingernails and the fact that she was a dragon and the details on the shoes like some of this I didn't even look at when I was buying them originally but oh her face as well was one thing that I just fell in love with and they all had such intricate ears like everything about them was so detailed and another version of Jennifer that I absolutely loved was the um, Bloom, like, corpse flower party outfit. Like, because her hair is, like, curled. This one I still have the tail on because it is, like, wedged in the back of her dress. Like, I, I loved this outfit of hers because her styling is, like, the Chinese. I just realised that those are still attached. Damn, I kept that in good condition. But, oh... She's gorgeous. I loved these. This was when I was starting to notice the details on these dolls. So I loved, I still love Jennifer. She is such an awesome character because I love like the Chinese mythologies and all of the bits and pieces. Some of these jewelry is like really, really tight on them. 
Oh, that's a dragon. I'm noticing details as I'm filming a video. You know what? Don't even care. Next are two got um, two dolls from the same line, and that is the Ghoul's Rule um, Frankie. Lost the name. I loved this movie. Like this was one of the first ones that had like that new style, which I absolutely loved the art style. I would have loved the chance to get the entire set, especially the Abby and the Draculaura of this. I didn't m like, um, Cle um, not Cleo's, um, like Cordine's as much. Some of her outfits just didn't sit with me, but these ones, I just loved the movie, so I didn't really want to get rid of the dolls. And then the other one I have in this line is Cleo's. So her hair has gone a bit funky. Like all of them have gone quite funky. But I loved the fact they gave her this shorter hairstyle in this and her dress is so gorgeous. I did not keep the masks, which I probably could have, but hers was... Oh, there's just so many things about them that I absolutely loved. Her cape has gone a bit wonky. But I suppose that's what happens again when it's held in by plastic. But like... These two together, if you can imagine like the Laguna, not the Laguna, Laguna can get one. If you can imagine the Draculaura with her giant ass wings and then Abby's with her beautiful white, like these outfits were so beautiful. And I just thought the designs translated really well to doll from the movies. If I ever get the chance, I may try and complete the set. I loved also the makeup. Like I don't know if it'll show up, but the makeup is the lightning. There it is. They did so well. Oh, I loved these dolls and I still do. Hence why I kept them and they have amazing shoes as well. Probably impossible to walk in as a human being. I just did a spiel and I hadn't recorded that. But what I had to saying was the next set is probably the only two pack I've got, which is the Persephone and Meality Wear Cat Sisters 2-pack um, and I'd said I don't know which one's which but I loved getting these two and like hooking their tails around like like their whole design the fact that they are like the opposites of each other like this one is like the black but with like the white hair and then this one's got like the red like it was just such a well thought out and well designed set like even the hair there is this one extremely gelled bit um, but then, like, the rest of it's actually quite soft at the back. Like, this whole design was so clever. I loved how it went. And that's even the same. There is a bit more gel in this one um, compared to the other sister. But all up, it all just still looks amazing. Her skirt is really not... What is happening with her skirt? No, overall, I love it. And the shoes, again, giant ass platform shoes, but I loved the sisters. They are, they are amazingly adorable. Now, hopefully the lighting stays decent. It is like really overcast outside. Um, so hopefully it stays good. Um, next was another two from um, the Cirque de Freak line. And one of them is the Claudine, which I just realized is part of her outfit ripped. No, it's just supposed to sit in the middle. Okay. Um, this is probably one of the Claudines that I really liked. I was upset that we didn't actually get to see her outfit in the webisodes, though, which I was a bit upset about. But I just love her makeup. So cool. She was a wear, like an animal tamer sort of thing. That sits really weirdly. I'm annoyed at that. I had never noticed that before. Uh, looks like it's all good still. Anyway, the design, like her makeup is amazing. I'm so happy. Like, and you can see, like, they've got little holes of where the earrings are supposed to sit. Like, and the gloves. This is one of the times that the gloves are, like, painted on. But I actually quite like how that looked. Um, and the other one I've got is Honey Swamp, which I really loved. She is, if I can get the arms in the right position. Oh, 
oopsies, get it on the other side of her hair, a marionette, which I loved the idea of this. Her legs are so swingy, whoopsies. But no, I, I love the design of this one and that will always, she will always stay sewn into the marionette swing, but it is just such a well thought out. Are those supposed to be like that? Sorry, like even now I'm still learning new things. I will say like she's got like her legs, look how swingy they are. I'm not even touching them. Oh, but no, she, I love the Cirque de Freak line. Like I would have loved to have got the whole set. Again, there's a few different lines where I would have loved to get the whole set. This is one of the times that the doll has amazing hair still. It's so puffy. And again, gorgeous makeup, but, and her hands are just so cool. Like so many of these dolls are incredible. Um, most of them are just the way that they're designed and the fact that the marionette thing is just incredible. All right, these are the last two that were stored in this box. And this is, I can't remember this one's name, but she also comes from the Boo York, Boo York, which was like one of the last semi-decent movies that Monster High did. But I just liked her because her wings could fold down. So you like, you could store her and have her with like her wings down and then you could put the wings up like, and like her moth thing her giant ass shoes like she was like it's a simple outfit but then she's also got like quite easy to understand like easy design and her face was so cool looks a bit like a fly's face but I could have sworn there she's a moth her little antenna things are a bit stinky again like I just love her design I didn't get all of the Boo York Boo York dolls, but some of them were just too good to pass up. And then the last one in that box is Custer Fierce, which I absolutely love. She's like one of the only witches in the story and she's got the nice soft hair again, like her whole design, it very much screams Alphaba, which is probably, I think where they were going with her. I'm slowly pulling off plastic. And her whole thing, the fact that she came with a mic and like the greener skin and everything, her dress was is so cool. It really needs a wash because it is covered in dust, but oh, she needs a wash too. And then she's got the pointy, which is, it's just incredible. One hand is curled because that's the hand that holds the microphone, whereas this one is just and she's got long ass nails I think they're like the longest nails of any monster idol that I remember but oh I couldn't chuck her she was I think she was one of the more expensive dolls and I just I loved her look and the fact that she was a musician it was just so fun I loved it all right so the next set of dolls are there's only a few of them but these all go in the box that is stored up in my cupboard um and the first one is Torrelai Stripe. Now I could never get rid of this doll because she was my first ever Monster High doll and I could never sell her. I played games with her with Adam, who's my brother. I, I loved the design, her, the fact that she was a little bit of a bad girl. She was like, she was, I obviously had options to pick from, but I picked Torrelai. She does have a spot for a tail, but I just don't have it and I don't put it on her. But her jacket, her everything, it is a bit discoloured, but she is my oldest Monster High doll. I just, I, I loved her, like, aesthetic and, like, all the rips and, like, the bad girl, like, like, ugh. So I'm pretty sure I got her from Big W. And I just, I loved the way that she looks and all of the fun stuff that oh, she just, she's just amazing. And I was so happy when I got her and started down this trail that has led to this. <laughs> Next, she's one of the older dolls that I've had for a while, but I just, 
loved her design so much and that is Venus McFly Trap. Now I love her hair. Her hair is probably the softest that I still have. It is amazing and she's like her side is so cool. She's so earthy and like all the vines that are on her, the ears, like her hair is incredible. I still can't get over the fact that how soft it is and like the green. It does have a bit of gel on the underside, but mostly it's just clean. And I, her shoes are incredible and I can't get over her hair. I think her, I think Venus and Spectra were my early dolls because these were part of like the Wave 2 line. And I, I loved, I still love her hair. So Venus will probably always stay one of my favorite Monster High dolls just because of her design. It's like, and then you see this awesome shape. It's just incredible. Next is one of the fusions. And it's the only one I kept because part of it is obviously Venus. So I can't remember the name, but this is Claudine fused with Venus. So it's got like the shaved flocked head on the top, which is obviously Venus with the green, but then the purple is all Cleo, not Cleo, Claudine. Um, obviously the wolf ears that have been made to look like, um, like the fly Venus flytrap. And then the fur is obviously is a Claudine move, but it's like, the, like they mixed everything in together. Like the outfit is such a Claudine style, but then it's got all these areas that can f feed back into Venus and like the vines on her shoes, the coloring. She kind of looks like vomit color, but I just, she was my favorite. And the sh like the head sculpt is a slightly unique one because it's a mix of both. And I just realized they've like, made it look like it's tied but it's not oh so good and then on the hand it has like the venus venus's pattern or well, that might be claudine's like fur not sure it was it's one of the only because i did have the torrelai and cleo fusion but i just i didn't particularly like her overall look the way it ended up but i did with um with claudine and venus not trying to rush but i still have so many dolls to go through, but we'll keep going. Next is, what is your name? Viperine. Um, she is from the, um, she is from the Vampire Heart one, and I cannot remember the name of that movie, but I think she, she was the only doll I got from that, but I just loved the idea of someone related to Deuce, who is the son of Medusa, like the snakes and everything and her scales. She is literally scaly the entire time. She Her legs are very bleached, which I think is because I kept her in the sun. And her sunglasses and the snake eyes, because I never got those. I didn't get any of the boys. Oh, and some of the deep, like the necklace was just so incredible. And the fangs, like she was so cool. And the fact that she was a makeup designer was just so incredible. Like I loved all of the designs that were done. Like her hair is like bleached at the back and then bright pink. Very cool. So that was her. And then the last one in this set is the last one that I have from the Bjork Bjork line. And it is Daughter of the Mouse King. So she's in one of my short little ones. And she's got this tiny little mouse tail. I, whoa, her tail just fell out. Um. So I just loved the golds. Oh, there's skulls. I just noticed this. When you notice all the extra details, like her gold and then her tiny little crown, which still has the plastic and the conjinkas in it. Um, but her hair, like everything about her was just so cute. I just, I liked her. Her design was very cute. And I loved her face. Like her face was adorable. Very cute. But yeah, um, those are all the ones that are stored in the pit, in the white box that lives in here. All right, it's getting a bit dark, but these are all of the dolls that I have still stored. Now, this one is the one that doesn't fit in any box that I own. That is Goliathy Jellington, which was one of the few dolls that they made that was huge. 
This was one of the ones that we never actually knew who her monster parentage was, which I thought was cool. And like, she was massive. And her box design where she was literally like, I think she was, I don't know. She was one way where she was like pressing against the box and her dress is just gorgeous. Part of it is because I like the look of her. The other part is she literally doesn't fit in a box. Um, she is a bit stained, like faded because she sits in the sun, but I still love the look of her and she is very stiff because she's always sitting. There we go. I didn't lift her dress up on camera. It is very short compared to her like China's legs. Um, and then the next one is also part of the Freak Du Chic line and that is Twyla in her stilts, which I loved. I was so happy I got this one. Again, they can do the buffy hair and it stays. It's just, she stays up partly because these stilts, which are giant, um, would be huge. And this is actually st was stuck to her tights, um, which is the plastic that was holding her stilts on. Hopefully these stilts don't come off now. Oh yeah, they are fully attached. I never actually figured out how these Ah, so she could have normal shoes. Learning something new. Let's see if, what the other one looks like. And they shouldn't be too hard to get back on. Oh, yeah. That looks pretty cool. And then we put her foot back in and strap that on. That is an awesome way. Oh, and I just realized, I did not realize she has the boogeyman stuff on her leg. That is very cool. And let's get this one back on as well. It's just the whole aesthetic, like with the little ink, ink um, bugs crawling all over. Just the stilts was such a cool design, which I just like, I couldn't put her in a box. Although I do store her, like, bent like that because she doesn't actually fit on a stand. Next is two from the um, flower line. The other one was Cleo, who um, sort of came with the bigger box, sort of how, like, Jennifer did. Whoa, what fell off? Oh, her headband keeps coming out of her hair because the Kajinkas and the plastic died. So she's just gorgeous. And I love the like mummy wrap look. Like I could have put her away as well and put her with Jennifer, but I just felt like she needed to stay out the moment because I had Armanita Nightshade, who was like the newest main character that got introduced. And I feel like that's gonna come out of her hair if I keep picking at that plastic. I have like a pile of these like things on the floor. The fact that she has her eye coffin, which was their phone, and her style of dress was just so pretty. It was such a unique style of doll and her makeup couldn't put her away. Kind of goes with the character as well. You can tell I'm running out of things to say about some of these dolls. Um, this one I couldn't put away. I loved her too much. And that was Caddy Noir, who was another singer. Um, this is one of the ones that I tried to wash her hair. Um, it kind of worked, but she's still a bit stiff. Like her hair used to be tied up in a high ponytail. But the fact that she was like a singer, her design was so cool. She came with like one of those bigger boxes um, and her dress with the hair. It was such an incredible look. And I loved everything about it. It was so good. Kitty Noir. Was that what I said? Or did I say Caddy? No, it was Caddy Noir. And another wear cat. Like, and the fact that she had 13 as an earring in her ear was just so cool. Like, I loved her. Again, she's got the clawed hand because she also came with the microphone. I'm not sure if I still have that. I might. I'm not 100% sure on that one. Uh, next to the remaining two from the Dot Dead Gorgeous line, which was... Julia, whose glasses have also don't have their plastic on, so she keeps losing them. There you go, they're wonky. Stay on her head. And her hair is falling out of its thing as well. But again, 
I already explained why I kept her because I kept the rest of the um, three pack. Um, and again, that also goes with Abby. So I also kept her because she was also part of the three pack. Won't go much into depth with that. This is another one I tried to wash the hair. So if you've got any ideas, please share them. I kind of need to wash all of these dolls. Next was the ghost dolls that I got that came out with the haunted movie. This is the captain. I can't remember her name. I loved these dolls and the way that they created these new original characters. So I wasn't like not going to get them. Hers was so cool, like with the peg leg and the giant hat. And the fact that they're like translucent looking, like they're so cool. Like I loved it. And the stands, like they hook under their arms so that these characters can actually, she might not be able to, but she can like have them float because they're resting on it. So it doesn't matter. It was very cool. Oh, I just noticed her shoe was a treasure chest. Very cool, because I think she's, she was a pirate, obviously, based on the hat, um, but I can't remember. And the other one was, I think it was Corey, was her name? Oh, her hair is soft. I loved this one's hair. I loved it when I bought it. She was a no face, which I thought was very cool. And they all have like the chain motif, which was such a unique Thing. and then the face is on the back of her shoes which was very cool because she doesn't have a face because she's a no face oh I love her hair I always have part of why I wanted to keep her out of the box because I love the hair and then I can always just you know if I need to I can play with the hair I just love also the way that they did her face because she technically doesn't have a face very cool very very cool Right, the next ones are two from the Scaris line. This is another one I attempted to watch. It was the biggest fail of them all. And that is the Claudine of it. I just like her look. It's as simple as that. It's the reason I kept her just very much needs a wash because it is sticky and gelled. And I just realised that's the Eiffel Tower earring. <laughs> they just were so clever with their designs of them. And her shoe keeps coming up stay and the other one from the scarce line was whoopsies don't break the stand Aaron was Rochelle Goyle if she'll stay on the stand which I just loved her as like the gargoyle this I could didn't get the original of her probably would have loved the original like in her original outfit, but this was cool because it was like a dress with the Eiffel Tower on it and because she is from France. Like the whole thing was just very beautiful. I loved it. Then I have three in their original outfits. So um, these were some of the ones that I just loved. So then first is Abby Bomitable, who has very soft hair despite the, the sparkly, sparkly bits. But part of the reason that I kept her was because Abby has actually got the same birthday as me, uh, which is December. I just got my birthday, December 14th. And I just loved her as the ice thing. She was another early one that I got. You can tell her skin is going a bit discolored, but I just loved the design. I do quite like the new Abby too, but I loved this with her that she was a bit unsure about the social norms was very interesting to me. Then another one, which was another new one that I loved, loved, loved the design of was Operetta, which was daughter of the Phantom of the Opera. She was just the music aesthetic on her arm, like the whole thing with like the music notes and then the dice and the face mask and the fact that she's got like a birthmark that's music notes that goes through out. Like the entire thing was so cool. I loved the design of Operetta. She was so cool and she was mu musical. It was just so good. I loved, loved her and I could not get rid of her if I tried. Now the last one, very last doll, was one that I absolutely loved. I loved in the movie. I loved getting the doll and that is Gigi Grant, Daughter of the Genie. Now as you can tell her hair is not in her typical updo. I took it out because it was really, really janked up and 
this was the only hair wash that actually worked so the bottom actually worked really well it feels so nice however the top has not washed as well so i will need to do another go but i just i love the design of Gigi. she was so cool i loved her in the movie i would have loved to have get, got wisp in the two pack would have been so good but her fingers i think are the longest fingers of any monster high doll ever they're like huge I like the whole length of this but I loved I love Gigi she's just incredible and I'm very happy with the fact that I actually managed to wash her hair maybe into the fact that I soaked it for so freaking long but I don't know we'll get there with the rest of them all right so those are all of the monster high dolls that I own um I hope you enjoyed the video. I loved going, having a trip down memory lane of some of these dolls and remembering why I bought them, why I still have them. It was just a lot of fun. If you do have any tips on how to wash Monster High doll hair or any doll hair, definitely let me know because a lot of these need it. And um, if you'd be interesting and interested in seeing how they all look dolled up and all pretty, let me know. I might be interested in doing a step by step of how I attempt to wash the doll's hair we'll see um yeah I hope everyone has a lovely day um if you enjoyed the video definitely hit that like button and subscribe so you can see the rest of any more videos that come out and I also hope that everyone has a lovely day and continues to live well bye guys